in this video we're going to talk about a shortcut method to solve a quadratic inequality so let's say we have x squared minus x minus 6 uh, less than 0 so the first step is we're going to factor this so we've noticed that the leading coefficient is 1 and then what we're going to do we're going to use the ac method you're going to multiply these two numbers so in this case you get negative 6 and then what we're going to do we're going to think of two factors of uh, the complete factors of negative 6 that gonna add up to the middle term so the middle uh, middle coefficient which is negative 1 so the numbers are you can see it is negative 3 and 2 because negative 3 and negative 2 multiply you get negative 6 when you add you get negative 1 so that means we can write the factorization directly now so it is x minus 3 that's the first one and then x plus 2 so just put the two numbers that you get and then the next step is we're gonna find the zeros so the two zeros are x minus 3 means one zero is x equal 3 x plus 2 means the other 0 is x equal negative 2 because at those values uh, these fractions become uh, these uh, factors become 0 now what we're going to do the, this is the idea so we're going to mark them uh, so we have uh, negative 2 on this side since there is a um, uh, strict inequality here we put an open dot so it is negative 2 and then again uh, we put a dot at 3 so the idea is since this is a less than inequality so if it is a less than inequality that means it is inside that's the idea inside if it is greater than inequality that means outside so that's what you can remember and this method works when the leading coefficient is positive if the leading coefficient is negative you're going to multiply by a negative sign first the whole inequality and then switch the inequality and then try to solve that so but this method works when the leading coefficient is positive so the idea is now since this is less than inequality the answer is everything in between so the solution set is everything in between so it is less than the answer set is the solution set is uh, in between so the solution is so the solution is from negative 2 to 3 the reason is if you pick any value in between you can see that one factor is negative the other factor is positive so if you just pick any value in between you can see one factor is positive the other factor is negative so the product is negative so that means uh, in between it is negative outside it is positive so uh, positive here and positive there that's what happened that's how we solve uh, a quality quickly now you can try these problems as practice problems if you are not familiar with how to factor when the leading coefficient is not one uh, for example e and f you can look at the video about crisscross method that is explains a quick method to factor things like this and also uh, what is the difference between a strict inequality and a inequality with equal sign so what will happen when the inequality has an equal sign that means the corner points are included so you could close intervals like this if there's a strict inequality that means corner points are not included so you write open intervals like that so that is the difference between the two